One of the benefits of living a minimalist lifestyle is you are forced to learn how to be present. Eliminating non-essential possessions anchors you to the present. There is not much room for the past. You must move forward. To live in the past will adversely affect your future. Learning how to be present is important. You need to be conscious, deliberate, present, and make the most of now. The only important moment is the present moment. Learning how to be present means we can not always be worrying about or planning for the next, big, thing. You are required to begin living in every moment. When we focus on the people and the task directly in front of us we share the gift of ourselves and gain from the moment. By remaining mindful and living in the present your moments unfold in a new light. This empowers us with more hope and optimism. We can use this spark of empowerment to make the best use of the present moment and enjoy one of the best gifts life has to offer. Tips how to be present and enjoy the best life has to offer practice being thankful every day. I found learning how to be present it is important to be thankful for what you are present for. Gratitude goes a long way. Good or bad be thankful you are present in the game of life every day. Be deliberate, enjoy, do your best and tomorrow will work itself out. Your opportunities are in front of you, in the here and now. Distraction steal joy. Living the minimalist lifestyle helps me prioritize life down to the important. To life's essential components. This makes life simple as the clutter is gone and choices are more clear. A change of pace every once in a while will be beneficial in clearing away distractions. Be creative. Get away from the fast pace, noise, and distracting people often. Recharge and think about the moment at hand. Stop multitasking. Yeah, I said it. If there is a need to multitask in your life you have a scheduling problem. There is no productivity increase by multitasking. It actually breeds inefficiency and more stress. Multitasking also makes it more difficult to be present. Without the ability to concentrate and be present all tasks suffer. Recognize your limitations. You are human, I hope, and you have limitations. Don't burden yourself with superhuman tasks and unreasonable multitasking expectations. That only leads to stress and unhappiness. Understand your limitations and play to your strengths. Once you recognize and pay homage to your limitations, reasonable solutions will be sought to reach your goals. Recognizing your limitations will make life less stressful and more enjoyable. Your goals are far more important than the results. Even though goals are firmly planted in the future they require action today. Learning how to be present today will help you achieve your goals tomorrow. Emphasize the actions you are doing today over the end results tomorrow. If immediate results become more important than the goal the journey will become unpleasant, filled with stress and anxiety. You will become more discouraged and less likely to reach your goals in a timely manner. Eliminate all resistance. The good and the bad are all temporary. Embrace it. Accept the here and now. Don't resist it. Obstacles and setbacks are a part of life. You will be more equipped to overcome them if you don't resist them. When you learn how to be present you accept all situations as part of your current reality and deal with them. Embrace freedom. Analysis is not action. The problem with analysis it either plants you in the future or the past. Life is lived in the present. Analysis has its purpose but action is needed in the here and now. Enjoy the beauty of the present where you have the reins and are in control. Ride the present into the future. Enjoy the experience. Life happens in the present. In the here and now. Be deliberate and remember to enjoy it. Stop often and smile knowingly to yourself. Life is good. You got this. Don't let anything escape your recognition. Every accomplishment, dinner, time with friends and family, and so on. Learn how to be in the present and enjoy it all fully. Why not? It actually requires no extra from you, just a change in mindset. Stay engaged. Get after it. After you learn how to be in the present stay engaged. You can't take part in the best life has to offer unless you are fully engaged. You can't be fully engaged in life until you meet life where it happens. Remember, life happens in the present. You can't do anything about the past and the future is a dream. 
You can't stay engaged 100% of the time but be conscious of the moments being engaged counts the most. The happiest people in life are the ones most engaged in the present. Learn how to be present and go get some. Thank you for stopping by. Click like and bang on that subscribe button. Please visit the description to get even more life-changing information.